Welcome to the Linear Least Squares module. Least Squares is a problem that generalizes solving a system of linear equations. It addresses the situation when there's unique solutions, when there's no solutions, and when there's infinite solutions, and always provides a specific unique solution to a slightly different problem. The problem defined involves minimization. So let's start with some simple minimization problems. Let's talk about minimizing a scalar quadratic function. Suppose I have this quadratic polynomial a plus bx plus cx squared and I want to minimize that over all possible values of real x. That's what I mean by x in r. x is a real number. Well, let's go over the cases. If b and c are both 0, then the function is just constant. It's the constant a, so that is the minimum. That looks like this. The graph of the function is a constant independent of x. The minimum is negative infinity if b isn't 0 and c is 0. That's because the graph is a straight line with a non-zero slope. Therefore, the minimum is negative infinity by choosing x, in this case, large negative or large positive. If c is less than 0, then the minimum is also negative infinity because this is a quadratic that is turned down. So for large values of x, the polynomial function becomes more and more negative and the minimum is negative infinity. It's independent of a and b, which just change where the maximum occurs and how high the maximum is. They don't affect the minimum though. That's negative infinity. Finally, the minimum is a minus b squared over 4c when c is greater than 0. That's achieved at x equal negative b over 2c. There are two examples of this, and by setting the derivative of the polynomial equal to 0, we find the critical point as listed, and the critical point is where the minimum is. I can summarize this in a little theorem. Let's take the case where c is greater than 0, then the minimum is greater than or equal to 0 if and only if 4ac is greater than or equal to b squared. All I've done is cast this minimum as greater than or equal to 0 and then move the b squared to the other side. c is positive, move the 4c over, and I get 4ac greater than or equal to b squared. We're going to use this fact to prove something called the Cauchy-Schwarz inequality that will involve vectors not just scalars. I could write this not using the letter x as the indeterminate variable, but I could write it using the letter t as the indeterminate variable. The independent variable of the polynomial, which is the variable that the minimization takes place over, can be labeled anything. For instance, t here or x. 